bit more of an update on what's been happening today. A bit of time to spare this afternoon, so we got the better of me. I had to start sanding just to see what was under the paintwork on the truck. I got a little bit aggressive here down to the aluminium, but yeah, it's had bodywork as you can see. A little bit down through there, but overall, not too bad. Doing those rivets is a bit of a challenge. I still have no idea how I'm going to get into these places in here. And I'll watch a few other people on YouTube and see what they've done. It'd be nice to blast the truck, but I realise you can't sandblast it, warp the aluminium. Um, Soda blasting's not an option or anything for me. Don't have any of that. But we'll, we'll get there with what we're doing. The light's not too good around the front here at the moment. But yeah, stayed on this lower panel, come right around. I realise the cab's got to be stripped yet. Got to take all the lights out. And obviously, the indicator comes off. And I'm also going to take the whole cab off the truck. We'll just we'll work on the lower stuff, which is at working height before I drop it off and set it down on the ground but we'll end up making a frame to sit it on and we'll end up lifting it up and down with a forklift some of these handles I've got to have a lot they got bolts in these ones here the ones up there beside the doors are flat so I'm not too sure we'll have a look inside the cab hopefully there's nuts on the back of those it's got to be there's no other way of putting them on otherwise to get these handles off. I can see everyone reaching for their device ready to get the keyboard and write the comments. Oh no, don't do that. But yeah, too late. I've started. I don't know what else you meant to do. I'm not a body work person. As you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing. But you learn. You learn by making lots of mistakes. Amazingly, this truck's only, to me, it's only ever been the, the one colour, but you can see on there, it's, it's I assume the grey is an etch primer for the aluminium, and then uh, there's different layers there as I've worked through that. The truck was repainted, I think, in New Zealand here when it came here, it had somebody's um, sticker on it in Hamilton where the truck come from body workshop whether they just did repairs and then do a paint overspray I, I don't know obviously it hasn't been sanded right back because that's yeah, unless they did that I have no idea but yeah just thought a bit of an update for you and show you what we're up to not much else happening at the moment as I move forward I'll keep doing the old blog and keep you up to date with it. Um, oh, we took the guards off. A young boy did that today. School holidays at the moment, so. They're only plastic fenders. Poles to get those off. And get rid of those before we end up walking into them and bashing my head on them. Blasting the frame isn't gonna be a a big issue for me. I've restored another machine previously and done done a bit of blasting. I'm not an expert at it, but I can do it. I've learned the learned a few tricks now. But yeah, my intentions are to take the wheels off and get rid of the inners and just leave the leave the outers on so we've got access into here. Something I was thinking about, I want to blast um, it's a bit dark on that side. Want to, want to blast all around the frame where these bags are sitting up in here because I can imagine there's corrosion on the frame. Um, might take the bags out and I realise it'll sit down on the stoppers but to hold the frame up might just cut some blocks of wood and just sit in there. Just a when I blast the truck's just got to go the length of the shop outside into the backyard when I'm ready to do that. And I obviously don't want to put new bags on it and blast and paint. So, and, and I can also um, remove the, the brake chambers, get rid of those. I have to put some plugs in the airlongs I suppose. And when I get sick of sanding, which won't 
take me very long. Um, I'll pull a wheel at a time, pull the drums, and yeah, have a good look at all the brakes in there, see if there's any corrosion and what's going on, and possibly I'll take one out to find out, take the S cam out. I assume they're probably tight, might have dry grease in there, which will give us a bad brake reading. Because as I talked about previously, if I ever put this truck on the road here in New Zealand, it's got to go for a COF certificate of fitness. And yeah, they put it on a brake machine, so they'll measure in balance across the axle, and yeah, I'm quite strict on all that. And tight S cams will cause that problem. The poor old brake systems, well, the air system's doing its job, but. Yeah, if it's got a resistance on one of the S cams, well, obviously you'll have a balancing issue. I think that'll do for now, and we'll wrap it up with that. Just going to explain what I'm doing here a little bit. Just got a little um, hand sandblasting gun here. Had it for years and years. Um, I have got a full size one out the back, proper helmet and all the gear for it. I'm just trying it on the on the rivets, just spot blasting on the top of the rivet heads, just to clean them up and, and a little bit around the rivets that I can't quite get. It seems to be working all right. It's certainly not going to. Affect the aluminium and it's not going to take any raw paint off, it's not powerful enough for that. It's just um, dune sand, it's, it's a black iron sand that we can get sort of not too far from here. I got it yeah, years ago, it's been sitting in the drums out the back, it's all dry. Um, obviously, I just blast the waste, let it go on the ground here and sweep it up later. But yeah, just doing the rivets. So I'll do a little bit and see how it goes. Here's a bit more entertainment for you. I'm trying to figure out how to get these wiper blades off. You can see there's a clip on here and it slides. I'm convinced that's got something to do with it. But I can't. I can see everyone reaching for the keyboards again going, it's so easy, just do such and such. I need to know now. Ugh. 
got the comics later on once I've broken it. Hmm. Maybe it's got something to do with it. But I don't know what. Squirts and squirt a bit of stuff in there. Even my help. is tuned up the missus she'll probably know what I've done want to know what I've done for the day I won't be doing much Interesting. Ooh. Look at that. Alright. Sorry about the lighting here. I haven't got the big door open in front of me here. It's a little bit windy. So hold the light up in here. Yeah, that clip on there turns, holds it on the socket up there. Interesting. Sit that down there, and then we'll put it through the lights and get it off. Let me turn it a bit. Um. different bit of fish pond than this one before water. Do you want me to take it out and undo it? Mm. Yeah, no, I'll have to have to do a zip tie trick. Yep. I think how it's anyway I can see you do it. So what what we got here is is probably the coloured zip ties. Is that 
is there any way I can see that I'm going to know where to go with the wiring when I go back? Oh yeah, hang on, buddy. Just hang on. I've got to get the one off inside here first. You take one. I'll tell you which one to put it on. I'm not sure if this is plugged or cooked. Turn that over. It's up there all right. Yep. Nothing's color coded. They've just put random wires in and put plugs on. It's cool. Yep. I'll hold that. Put it on that one. That way. So it's not going to come on. Right. Uh, uh, plug here. Can this go wrong? Oh boy, they've done some magic stuff here. You got a twist on it, turn it over, that's it. Yep, now we'll put a, um, what way did that go? It was blue to blue. The yellow on that one. Managed to undo the clips on the back back of this. Let's carefully see if we can. Oh yeah, it's going to move. Oh, one handed. Get that off there. Right, got that off. Seen better days. That one's pretty faded. I think that'll be one for the wall. Not too good. Alex has just picked it out. We've got some other ones here. So we're we'll putting those on. Turn that over, Alex. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's got nuts on it. I'll think about if they're broken, how I'm going to retain them. I'll come up with a plan of what we're going to do there. But yeah. That's all right. We've got some spare ones. Throw that up slowly. We've got a shelf here. Just slowly putting parts on, labeling everything we're doing. Alex is helping me, writing and everything for me.
was the actual sort of poor thing. 